Welcome to the Counting and Clapping tutorial series created by the junior high band teachers of the Gilbert Unified School District in Gilbert, Arizona. Counting and Clapping tutorial number five, eighth notes. At the end of this tutorial, you should understand how to count and clap single eighth notes, how to count and clap beamed eighth notes, and how to count and clap various rhythm patterns containing a mixture of notes and rests that include single and beamed eighth notes. To be successful, you need to already understand the concepts taught in these earlier tutorials. All rhythm tree tutorials, basic time signatures and beats, counting and clapping part one conventions, part two whole half and quarter notes, part three, whole half and quarter rests, and part four, ties and dotted half notes. Let's start with a review of how single and beamed eighth notes work. Eighth notes can be written as single notes. Here's two individual eighth notes. Or eighth notes can be connected together by a beam. Here's two eighth notes connected together by a beam but nothing changes except how they look. Two single eighth notes and two beamed eighth notes get the same counting. Most often, beams connect notes into groups of two or groups of four. When writing in the counting, we write in a plus sign in between the numbers for the extra eighth notes. When we clap and count, we have to say the word and where we see the plus signs. 1 and, 2 and, 3 and, 4 and. Notice that there are a lot more eighth notes than there are quarter notes underneath them. That's because eighth notes are twice as fast as quarter notes. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here's another video showing you that eighth notes are twice as fast as quarter notes. 1 and, 2 and, 3 and. Single eighth notes and beamed eighth notes can both be in the same measure. We can use them however we want. Always check the time signature for the number of beats per bar. And when writing in the counting, write the counting directly under the notes. In this example, the top number in our time signature is a four. So every measure has to have four beats. Count out loud and clap at the start of every note. In our first measure, we have to start out with two quarter notes, each getting their own clap and their own count. One, two. Then we have four individual eighth notes. Count and clap eighth notes twice as fast as the quarter notes. So these individual eighth notes are going to get the counting three and four and, and we clap and count them twice as fast. Three and four and. Start all full bars with the number one and number all beats consecutively. Measure two is exactly the same as measure one. The only difference is the eighth notes are beamed in measure two and they're single eighth notes in measure one. We do this because sometimes we think it's easier to read the notes quickly when they're beamed together. We still have our same two quarter notes, one, two, and then four eighth notes, three and four and. The next measure starts with two eighth notes, one and, followed by a quarter note, two. Then we have two single eighth notes, three and, followed by a quarter note, four. The last measure starts with a quarter note, one. Then we have two single eighth notes, two and, then another quarter note, three, and two beamed eighth notes, four and. Here is a video showing the correct way to count and clap this example. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four, one, two, and three, four, and. Now let's look at a few examples where we incorporate beamed and single eighth notes with all of the other types of notes and rests that we've learned in earlier tutorials. Here's our first example. 
In measure one, we start out with a quarter rest, so it gets count one, but no clap. That's followed by two eighth notes that both get claps, two and. Then we have a quarter rest for count three and a quarter note clap for count four, three, four. The next measure starts out with a quarter note for a clap on count one and a quarter rest with our hands apart on count two, one, two. Then we have four eighth notes beamed together, so we clap and count three and four and. The third measure starts with four beamed eighth notes, so we clap and count one and two and, and we finish that measure with a half note, so we clap on count three, keep our hands together for count four, three, four. The last measure uses our dotted half note for three counts, so we clap on count one, keep our hands together for counts two and three, one, two, three. We end the measure with two single eighth notes that both get claps, four and. Here's a video showing the correct counting and clapping of example number one. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, four. One, two, three, four, and. Let's take a look at another example. Example two gets a little trickier because we've added ties and those ties go across measures. Measure one starts with a half rest, hands apart while we count one, two. Then we have two single eighth notes that get claps, three and. And then we have a quarter note on count four, so we clap on count four, but it is tied to the half note in the next measure. So clap on four, keep our hands together for one, two into the next measure. Four, one, two. Then we go on to two beamed eighth notes on count three, three and, and our hands apart for the quarter rest on count four. The next measure starts with four beamed eighth notes that all get claps, one and two and, and then we have a long note, a half note worth two counts tied to a whole note worth four counts. So we start on beat three with a clap, and we keep our hands together for count four, and we continue to keep our hands together for counts one, two, three, four on the whole note. It looks like this. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Here's a video showing the correct counting and clapping for example number two. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, and two, and three. Four, one, two, three, four. And now for our final example. Example number three has a couple of very tricky spots because we have ties connecting eighth notes. We start out pretty simple with two eighth notes beamed together. Both of them get claps, one and. Then we have two single eighth notes. So they're going to be clapped the same way but we count starting on two, two and. Then we have a single quarter note, gets a clap by itself, count three, and now our first tricky spot. We have two beamed eighth notes, four and, but the second eighth note is tied to the dotted half note in measure two. So we clap on four, we clap on the and after four, but keep our hands together and continue counting into the next measure for the dotted half note, one, two, three. It looks like this, four and one, two, three. We end pretty simply in measure two with two single eighth notes that both get claps, four and. The third measure starts with a quarter rest, so no clap, but we do count, one. Then we have another tricky spot, two eighth notes, so we know we're going to say two and, but the second eighth note is tied to the quarter note on count three. So we're going to clap two and, and then keep our hands together while we move on to count three because we're making it a longer note. It looks like this, two and three. The quarter note by itself on count four gets a clap. In the next measure, we have a half rest, hands apart while we count one, two, 
Then we have our two beamed eighth notes, three and, both with claps, and we end with a quarter rest, we say four with our hands apart. Here's a video showing the correct counting and clapping for our final example. One and two and three, four and one, two, three, four and one, two and three, four, one, two, three and four. This tutorial explained how to count and clap single and beamed eighth notes. It provided examples of rhythm patterns containing a mixture of notes and rests that included both single and beamed eighth notes. The next tutorial in this series adds eighth rests to various rhythm patterns.